Howdy folks and welcome to walk test one slash system test three. I went ahead and did some changes in the system. As far as the garage, the pull station and the horn strobe are the same, this BG12L and my system sensor NASS24. I did end up taking down the true alert because I totally forgot that simplex free run devices are not supposed to run on full wave rectified power. So now we have a Spectre alert. I couldn't even tell you what the model number is, uh, but it's just running in strobe only right now. And in here, we still have the Simplex T-Bar and the 4903-9101 and the Simplex horn. So without any further ado, let's go put the panel into walk test. Before I do that, I'll just show you the uh, true alert. Here it is. So, yep. What you do to put one of these firelight panels into walk test is you go into the programming mode, put in your password, and then you can scroll down to walk test and we're gonna do an audible walk test. See it says unit and walk test. Close the panel and come to your first pull station. Do it this way. Here we go. <laughs> and then you come to your next pull station. This one doesn't like me. I don't know why. Here we go. All right. Let's go back out here and reset the panel. You can see here it says pull station kitchen, pull station garage. Those two worked. We'll escape out. It will reset. Okay. And then we'll go back to the kitchen and we'll pull the uh, simplex station. So here we go. Three, two, one. And yes, we do still have audible silence going. That won't ever change. I do want to end, uh, want to try to get a sync module, maybe, if I get all the same alarms. I know the panel can do it, but I just feel better if I had a sync module. So, anyways, we'll go ahead and reset the system. That'll shut everything off. And I think that's going to conclude this system test. Thank you very much for watching.